All right, Shalom. I'd like to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, which means in the name <clears throat> Yahweh Shai. That's the name of the only begotten Son. All right. Bahasham in the name Rachakwadash, which is the Holy Spirit. All right. Double honors unto my elder apostles and my elders at Great Millstone or GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect of the nation of Israel, all right, which consists of the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, and the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered, all right. This is the brother Atazaria from GMS Houston, and this lesson was inspired through the spirit. I was watching um, Elder Yasha Wamba had did a lesson, and uh, this scripture came out. Okay, he was going into the uh, the ten virgins. Five were wise, five were foolish. Okay, and um, this this scripture came out in the book of Acts, chapter twenty, and uh, he brought out twenty eight, and I'm gonna start at twenty seven. Okay, and we we'll get right into this. Okay, because this is part of it too. Okay, you know I did a couple of videos, you know, going into. Uh, Things, you know, that part things that uh, are, are requirements for this truth, man. Okay. And this is one of the requirements. All right. One of many. Okay. So this is the book of Acts, which when you, when this is incorporated, okay, this, 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 this capsulates a whole lot, man. Okay. So without further ado, this is the book of Acts, chapter 20 and verse 27. It says, For I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Okay? And um, and likewise, with the brothers that are out on the highways and the byways, putting up these lessons. Okay? Watching out for the flock. Okay? The body of the Lord. Okay? Which is the church. Okay? It says, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of the Heavenly Father. Acts 20 and 28. Take heed. When you go into the word heed, it means to uh, careful attention. Not just attention. You know, you take heed to something. You, 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 uh, take, you pay careful attention. Okay? You got to have that. That careful has to be in there for uh, heed. Okay? As a matter of fact, let me, I'm going to pull it up on the online etymology. All right, let me pull up the word heed. H-E-E-D. It says heed, the noun. It says careful attention. All right, notice, regard. All right. Um, the verb, uh, observe, to take care, attend, care for protect okay take uh take charge of okay and as the scripture says the holy spirit will get it okay let's read on acts 20 and 28 take heed therefore unto yourselves okay and to all the flock over the which the holy spirit the rachak wadash had made you overseers to feed the church of the heavenly father, which he had purchased with his own blood. Okay. This is part of it. And this is required. We have to be vigilant, man. You know, when it comes to the body of the Lord. Okay. It's, let me read it again. It says, take heed, Acts 20 and 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock. Okay over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers to feed the church of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, which he had purchased with his own blood. Okay? Now, let's get a scripture. Okay? Let's go to uh, 1 Peter, the 5th chapter. Okay? Right. This is First Peter, chapter five, and I'm gonna start at one. Okay. As a matter of fact, 
I'm going to read the heading. It says, the elders exhorted to feed the flock of the Lord. Okay. It says, 1 Peter 5 and 1, the elders which are among you I exhort, who am also an elder and a witness of the sufferings of Hamashiach, Yahweh and also a partaker of the glory that shall be revealed. Feed the flock of the heavenly father, which is among you. You see, this is a commandment. We can't just get this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding and sit on it. You know, you don't, we can't hide our talents. We can't bury our talents. Okay. It says, feed the flock of the heavenly father. All right. Let me see something. They got a number right there. It says, which is among you and for which is among you, it says, um, or as much as in you is, okay, which is among you, taking the oversight thereof, not by constraint, okay, but willingly. This is something we should want to do, okay, not for filthy lucre's sake, not for that dirty money, okay, a lot of people, they don't know what lucre is, all right but of a ready mind, okay? Okay, after we eat this roll, okay? Our mind, our law, okay? Should be filled with the understanding, okay? This is neither as being lords over God's heritage, okay? Let's see what it say for lords. Uh, overruling, you know, overruling, okay? doing too damn much man okay as far as scrutinizing and you know doing things that's unnecessary man because you gotta keep in mind when we dealing with brothers this brother may be the elect this brother might be one of the elect this brother might be one of the elect the lord said be don't don't be careful not to offend one of the little ones man Okay. It says, let me go back. All right. It says, neither as being lords over God's heritage, but being in samples to the flock. We have to be examples, lead by example. I hear that, have heard that a lot. And hear that a lot from men that are over me, okay? From my elders at, at, at GMS Dallas on up to the apostles, man, okay? And I mention them because, you know, we Houston is basically a branch of Dallas, man, okay? Um, and that's what it is, all right? Uh, that's the way the Lord set it up. So let's go back. All right, we got that in 1 Peter 5. Okay, so we to feed the flock of the Lord. Okay, taking oversight. Okay, just like when you go to work, if you the foreman, you can't just sit back in the chair and just chill out. I'm the foreman, shit, I done did it. And then you come out, you crack the whip, you know, but you don't really be doing nothing, man. But but being a, 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 a Lord, or uh, uh, a heavy ruler over the guys that's working. And then they're going to build up resentment towards you, man. You know, he's popping that shit. He don't ever do nothing, though. We doing all the work. Why he sitting there in that late, that chair leaning back with his feet propped up on the desk? You know? No, we got to be active, too. Okay? We got to get out there and be on the front lines, man. Hey. You don't see a shepherd, you know, sleep under the tree and uh, the sheep just doing whatever the hell they want, man. Okay? The shepherd has to be guiding and protecting, uh, uh, looking out, you know, making sure that the sheep are, are not being uh, shredded to pieces like the scriptures say by them ravenous wolves. 
Okay? When you go back to Acts. Okay? And this is a part of it, man. This is part of the job. This is a big part of the job, man. Okay? This is what's required of us. All right? So let's uh, get another scripture. Let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 4. And I can pull it up on here. All right? Let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 4. And we'll read verse uh, 16. Okay, First Timothy four and sixteen. Take heed unto yourself. Uh, to so lock you. Let me slow down. A little excited. First Timothy four and sixteen. Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee. <laughs> okay. So, you're not only doing it for you. You're also doing it for the flock. Okay. And again, this is part of it, man. Okay. Um, because again, remember, we're responsible for those that hear us. Okay. So it's very important that we be very careful in what we say. The things that we bring out, how we conduct ourselves, etc. Okay? You don't want to be a bad example. You're doing something that's all out of order and jacked up. And then Jake see it. Jake do it too. Now y'all both screwed. You see? Let's go back. <clears throat> Alright, I want to go back to Acts 20. Matter of fact, let me... Bring it up on here. It's a lot. Acts 20, 28. All right. Let me read it again. It says, Acts 20 and 28. Take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Spirit had made you overseers. Okay. To feed the church of the heavenly father, which he had purchased with his own blood. Now, I want to bring out a, a scripture on that. Okay. Let's go to the book of Hebrews chapter 9. Okay, <clears throat> it's a lot. Here. Let's start at verse twelve. Can I click there? Yeah. All right. Hebrews nine. Yeah, I started twelve. Hebrews nine and twelve. Neither by the blood of goats and calves. Okay, because these things uh, were used as uh, sacrifices. Okay. But by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place, having obtained eternal redemption for us. Okay. <clears throat> and the us, all right, is the Israelites. Okay. Starting with the elect. Um, also, uh, 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 Revelation 1 and 5. Matter of fact, let me grab it right quick. We'll come right back. The scripture comes out all the time. And from Yahweh Shah Mashiach, who is the faithful witness and the first begotten of the dead and the prince of the kings of the earth unto him that loved us. <laughs> you don't say everybody. OK. And washed us from our sins. Who's able to sin? What is sin? Sin is transgression of the law. Who's the law given to Israel? OK. And washed us from our sins in his own blood. Okay, and had made us kings and priests unto the heavenly, unto God and his father, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Let it be so, Amen. All right. So let's go back. Hebrews 9, 12. Okay. Neither by the blood of goats and calves, but by his own blood, he entered in once into the holy place having obtained eternal redemption for us. <laughs> for if the blood of bulls and of goats and the ashes of an heifer sprinkling the unclean sanctified, sanctified 
to the purifying of the flesh, how much more shall the blood of Hamashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot? Okay. As a matter of fact, let me get that in my scriptures because they had a number by that. I know what that mean, but I just want to read it. Read it. Hebrews 9. You grab it. They had a number by without spot. I want to bring it out. Okay. All right. And for that, it says, our fault. So the, the, the Lord, he was pure, man. Okay. Without fault, without spot or blemish. Okay. Just like that's why uh, the, the Passover mirrors this. Okay. Because when you sacrifice that lamb for the Passover, it has to be a, a a male lamb without spot or blemish. Okay. It says, um, how much more, and this is uh, Hebrews 9 and 14, how much more shall the blood of Amashiach, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without spot to the heavenly father, purge your conscience from the dead works to serve the living power? You see, now, I want to get another scripture, okay, and uh, the Spirit says the same will close on this, okay, Lord willing, this is edifying, let's go to the book of St. John, the 21st chapter, and around, I think it's 14, let's see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And as a matter of fact, I'm, let me get it in my scriptures. Okay. All right. Uh, and I want to, because I want to read the heading. <clears throat> this is uh, St. John chapter 21. It says, the Lord appeared to his disciples from chapter uh, from verse one to verse 15, verse 15 to 18. It says his charge to Peter. OK, now let's go straight to 15. All right. This is St. John 21 and 15. So when they had dined, Yahweh said to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, Lovest thou me more than these? Okay. He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my lambs. He said unto him again, the second time, Simon, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He said unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He said unto him, Feed my sheep. He said unto him the third time. And if you notice through the scriptures, there are a lot of things that come in threes. All right. <clears throat> he said unto him the third time, and I'm in St. John 21 and 17. Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he, he said unto him the third time, lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh said unto him, feed my sheep. Okay. And the Lord knew his, his death was on the, you know, was about to take place. Okay. Or uh, Salakia. That he was, you know, he wasn't going to be there. Okay. He was going to return back to the right uh, hand of. Uh, the heavenly father okay because <clears throat> when you read um let me see well you know what i'm not gonna get that Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to get that. I'm going to just, because that'll segue into something else. So, the, the, the point is, 
being in this thing, part of it is feeding the flock, being overseers, taking heed, paying careful attention to the churchmen. Okay? This is part of it. This is part of our duty. This is a big part of our duty. Okay? And we have to be careful about what we do, what we say, how we treat one another. Okay? With the fear of the Lord. Okay? Knowing that the Lord is watching us. Okay? Um... And that's it. Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to close and again give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, whose name is Yahweh Bahasham, which means in the name. Yahweh Shai, that's the name of the only begotten Son. Bahasham, in the name. Rachachodash. And again, double honors unto my elder apostles and elders at Great Millstone, GMS. Peace and blessings unto the elect. A Shalom.